Hey, welcome back. Glad you could make it. Now, where we were was grinded on a carbide blank, and I'll show you what it looked like. It could be better, we'll make it a little better. Let's see if I can get the sh Yeah, you see. I want to get a little better in that. So I'm going to turn, um, that side's good enough. I'm going to braise that side down. So I'll change it over, flip it over. Hit that thing in there. Okay. Snug, snug. I got a little tap. One more. Yeah. Okay. Now, I changed the angle here to, to give this insert just a little bit of side and back right on the top just to start off. I'm actually going to use this insert, uh, not an insert, but a um, a blank that I'm grinding uh, for a facing tool for a wall hopper head, and I'll show you that a little, little while. But the first thing I got to do, remember that I dulled the wheel with a piece of uh, high speed steel to get a little better finish because that's a, a, a coarse wheel. So I'll dress that wheel again. <laughs> a safety to keep from crashing into the wheel because the table makes so easy. So I'm going to back the table out. Now, I oiled this thing and ran the table back and forth and it just glides nice. All oiled up real nice. Get back here. Okay, we're going to go back there. I'll try to make it a smoother ride. Here we go, heading back there. We'll talk about this a little later. Okay. I think that goes just like <laughs> gonna lose it. Here we go. Okay, let's get her back down here where you can see the voice in the wheel. I'm going to put that insert vise in. So I tilted the head two degrees that way and two degrees this way. That way. <laughs> that way. Okay. Now I think if I get the camera kind of a little bit lower, uh, you might be able to see the the thing clean up a little bit. And I'm gonna take a uh, a magnum sharpie.
and put some ink on it. How's that? Okay. Now instead of uh, crashing into the wheel like I did last time, I did it because I couldn't see very good, I think. Okay? Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to get to the side here and start feeding that wheel in. Or the work into the wheel. So it's easier. Oh. Now this is a high load in there. You know, I, I demonstrated that this doesn't have a whole lot of power, so there we go, I see it, it just ticked the current, so let's go for it. Be about one or two thousand at a time. There we go. 1033, it goes about two thousand. So let's clean it up, give it one, one. It's pretty happy at one or two. You guys with more horsepower, you know what you can do. <laughs> How's that look? I gotta look through that to see if uh, you're getting a good angle on that. I'm not sure. It seems like, I don't know. I, I hope you can see that thing shine up there. Okay. Back to feeding it in. There's 2,000. Okay. And, you know, I dust it back and forth a couple of times. One thousand. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> Just dust it down. Almost got it cleaned up, you see. Go a little bit more. Now remember, I'm putting a, a, a couple of degrees each direction on this thing for top break right on the tool. It's just a little easier to add a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Good, good. And dust it down. Of course, it takes a little bit more power the wider the uh, surface. Sometimes I, I crank it back and forth maybe three or four times. There I fit it. Now I'm just going back and forth. See? This stuff's like, it grinds like rock. Maybe like concrete on a miniature scale. That's a pretty good bite. Almost got it. See that corner? Just a little bit left. I'm calling it good there. Dust her down. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> look. Well, it's supposed to be there. There's not. Hold on. Uh, I need that little piece of high-speed steel, remember? Let's see if you can watch it. Yeah, we're still in there. Now I'm going to go on the bottom of the wheel with it so it doesn't rip it out of my hand. And I'm just going to smooth that little bugger. See that? And you can feel it kind of smooth out. Okay, let's see if that helps. I'm going to go back in. We're still going. 
1,000. Oh. Too bad. All right. There we go. Let's uh, let's move over here. Go around this thing. Very tight in here. <laughs> okay. How's that looking? That's not too bad for a coarse wheel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish that on a lapping block. Okay. On a diamond lap. And I'll show you that later. I'll get a... a um, the reason I'm using coarse wheels here is because it's fast and I can lap that like a mirror by hand. So that's the way I do it. I don't do it all by machine.